Hey, it's welcome back to Two Shots in Podcast. I'm Devin. I'm here with Hector, and I'm joined, thankfully, by Mr. Melvin Fraser Jr. Oh, it's alright. We fuck stuff up. All. You can break whatever you want. Man, you just knock all that shit over. It's all right. <laughs> we got insurance, Melvin. <laughs> Who was uh, proudly to say was a local boy out of Tulane and is now in the league, man. What's that like? Man, it's uh, it's a blessing at the end of the day. Is it? Because yeah. you know what I noticed? Do you have you been watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? No, I haven't been watching it. No, what they got on now? <clears throat> so every time I think about people that are not only well known but are super well known, mm-hmm. like at pro ball level pro actor level everybody thinks they want to be famous until they really get famous and then you're like ah, oh, you want to be famous i watch this uh johnny depp uh, amber heard trial they're shitting in each other's beds <laughs> and she's taking naked pictures of him with ice cream all over him like everybody wants to be famous yeah until shit hit the fan. until it's fucking until you get in it yeah it's uh it's more than what it seemed for sure like and there's a lot of things you can and you can't do when uh when you're famous. And I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like famous, famous, but you're kinda, recognizable. Yeah, for sure. So like, there's a lot of do's and don'ts that you can't do. Once. You want a drink? I'm good, man. I'm sure. We got water and stuff. Give me a water. I, I was joking water. about the cocaine. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a water, though. I get a water. Just don't open that thing that says cocaine. No, it's a joke. Uh, <laughs> no, they got to feed you water. I think I'll power Yeah, we got power in there, too. Man, you better clip that shit. Right there. Drink over, I'm a player, but once you once you start, you better hope that cap lands on something that... Uh, oh, what is going to land on? <laughs> you might you might come out of this <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> that, that one all the way to the right's heroin. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope. Oh, oh <laughs> heroin! Oh, no, I'm fucking with you. I'm ready for the <laughs> so, have you had parts in your? I mean, you're. I, I looked you up because I always like making myself miserable, and I think I'm young. Mm-hmm. You know, like that. I just graduated shit, and I am old as shit now. But I, my brain hasn't caught up. Yeah. You were born in 1996. Yeah. Oh my god. God that's damn. fucking miserable. He said that's miserable. What makes that miserable? Because <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm, I I'm so school. much closer. Like I, I, if I, when I saw you, I was like, oh, it's a guy. Obviously, he can beat the shit out of me. And he's probably about my age, maybe a little <laughs> older, maybe a little younger. But you are seven years younger than I am, uh-huh. and I feel so unworthy when I see like a monster. Like we had Caesar Ruiz, the Saints player, in here, uh-huh. and he's like fucking 19 years old and he, the room's too small Your he doesn't size. fit in this room Damn. we had to make the table smaller <laughs> so like some people are from that viking era uh-huh. you know i mean you included what are you six eight or something six six god damn yeah do you ever walk around like what's up with all these short oh, uh, unathletic motherfuckers walking around <laughs> You ever think that's yourself? That's no. all I'd be thinking. Like walking through the mall. Yeah. Like you can't dunk. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, all these people in Nikes, people can't dunk. It'd be alright. Sometimes. What he, would you if you could if you were doing anything else other than playing pro ball, what would you be doing? That's the main all question. But um I'm into cars, cars and guns and uh like ATVs, dirt bikes and stuff like that. Mental, so. Those are dangerous. I know. I squished one of my friends one day. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were young. I had, we jumped this thing. Wah, 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 and the whole thing flipped over and squished him. It squished his whole... Oh, fucked his leg all up. <laughs> he was on crutches from like 12 to 18. Damn. Yeah, he was all fucked up. He squished. God, man. What you got? Shit, trying to up. No, I'm huh? just making fun of, uh, of Hector. Oh. oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Hector's <laughs> relatively new. We had Frank who just... Got his teeth ripped out, so Hector's filling in. Yeah. So you would be, well, that's not, that's just like winning the lottery or being a professional athlete. You would want to race cars and shoot guns? I wouldn't necessarily say race cars, but uh, I mean, I'm just into cars, fast cars. Uh-huh. What kind of car you got? I got a GT500. Ah, oh, fuck. Melvin. 
<laughs> not a full guy? <laughs> no, man. I love Ford. Oh, I was about to say. Please. Man, Ford. Bring back the 60s. Man. Huh? Bring back Ford the 60s and another 70. man. A bow tie attracts another woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, I like Fords in the 60s, 70s, Chevys in the 60s. But no, Ford, I mean, come on, Shelby, get me, get the fuck out of here. That's American muscle right there. Yeah. You ain't got no dunk? Nah. A what? A, a dunk. dunk. A dump? It's a dunk. dunk. It's like an old school car. <laughs> oh, like oh, I gotcha. 88. Yeah. What is that one, like you're wrecking Caprice, when, you're, when you're racing? Yeah, Caprice Cutlass, stuff like that. Caprice Cutlass, uh -huh. 70. You race people a lot? I like to uh, race people don't that race. don't even know we're racing. I don't race my uh, NFL partner. He uh, into all that. I don't know. Uh -huh. Do the race and stuff like that. So when you're not in, is basketball season year round? Like, uh, what are you doing right now? Basically, uh, you get a little off season, but even in off season, you still have to like work out, stay uh -huh. on top of whatever you need to stay on top of. But I mean, it's basically all year round for sure. When you were a kid, which was I'm trying to think That's of when I was a kid. Uh, can't oh, yeah. race in that. What if you get a They race. They, they race fast. Them. That? That's yeah, fast. They race them. Not that bullshit. No. <laughs> you hit a, they, they use that to cut grass. If you hit a pothole, your your uh, your whole fucking car is going to fall apart. You're not racing in New Orleans. That's the Florida car. I can't even walk in New Orleans. I walk, you I end up walk with a anymore. sprained ankle. I'm on crutches. <laughs> I stopped going to the Saints game because of the cement in New I Orleans. I think that was Baby's old car right there with the, uh, the Bentley grill. Oh, yeah. Facts, facts. So which one? Which one looks like yours? The one down there. Nah, none of them look like mine. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you had. No, one. I got a GT five hundred. Nah, I would just oh, say. Oh right, okay. pull that up. The GT five hundred. Oh, okay, no, no, he's doing it right. Yeah, he Hector's it. the one talking about all this okay. nastiness. <laughs> Looks like I'm looking at porn, Hector. Get this off the screen. What was the first thing you bought when you got drafted? I haven't bought anything. My first purchase was that I had to save up and buy that. That's a hundred thousand dollar car. So fuck. I uh, I think I bought it in my second year, I believe, in uh in the NBA, my second league, second season. I mean, you got the house damn. first though, right? I still haven't got a house. I got everything to the side. I'm in the process now of getting a house. So I never thought that a house would be this frustrated and trying to. Yeah, it's right. Just buy your cheap house, man. Hey, then it'd be another thing. Like hey, moving to be honest, I had cities. the first house I bought was tiny, like really small, with my wife. Yeah. Was, loved it. <laughs> we bought a bigger house. Hate yeah. it. Little More yeah. shit to clean. Yeah. Fucking everything Man, breaks all the time. We Don't clean buy the a house pool. every day. As soon as I come home, it's fucking ruined. My fucking daughter got pillows everywhere. You, got, you got kids? <laughs> no. Oh not God yet. bless you. Where'd you come from? What you mean? <laughs> oh, God. I'm like an idol over yeah, here. Oh, how did you? Man. How did you get away with no kids? Like. Dang, that women, he doesn't uh, know about yet. Thanks, when, strong, women, man. I mean, they women say, do. They say it don't work. Women, uh. women, <laughs> women do unspeakable things, though, uh. to get the the lottery ticket. I mean, hey, man, I'm smart. I, I didn't took a lot of chances, but um, I made it out good. Man. Just butt stuff, huh? <laughs> That's what I just, I, I just, just stick to butt stuff until I was ready. Man, <laughs> Melvin's representative. This is all me. I'm joking. Uh, Melvin is a good Christian young man. I'm I'm corrupting him at the moment. So, in between the seasons, is it is it like a summer vacation, or is it you still have to go to work and practice every day? No, that's for sure. You can most definitely have your fun in between. How long is that? Uh, hours. <laughs> <laughs> the season's over you got 60 hours and then you got to be back here for practice again yeah so you know you can get in there for sure you get a little time like get a little time probably off. like a month if that like three weeks <sighs> well i would say it depends on who so you it's like are summer to. yeah then it depends if you make the playoffs or not yeah that too what do you think about people betting on the games uh-huh <laughs> i mean i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with it as long as you bet on yourself no, when you, you bet on the other team oh, no, is when it's, when it's fucked can't, up. They can't bet. Like, we can bet. They can't bet. No, no, no. I know. But I think it's, you should be able to bet as long as you're betting on yourself. I mean, yeah, I don't got no comment. Get, <laughs> somebody just got kicked out a whole, I think, like a whole year or two. Yeah. Probably yeah. For betting on themselves? Uh, NFL player, I believe. Um, he was must bet. He was out. He had took out for, like, mental health and was betting a dude. Oh, well, he was nuts for, already. Uh, playing for Atlanta Falcons. Uh, what's his name? 
Cal Ridley or something. But was like he that? betting on Atlanta or was he betting for them to lose? He was betting like on you can't bet period. Like you can't bet on no teams, no other teams. Oh, any other teams. Can, well he can't well they can't bet on nothing considered NBA like basketball. See like Pete Rose and shit, I always thought that was fucked up. I always thought you should be able to bet on yourself. Nah, they can bet on <laughs> NFL. You know what I mean? Like if you were betting against yourself right. and throwing throwing the game. Hey. It's fucked up. But I mean, I guess they feel but like... But if you bet on yourself, like, hey, I'm going to get down, I'm going to win, yeah, I'm going to you know, put an extra 50K in my pocket. I have no problem with that. Oh. Y'all are awfully quiet about this. How long y'all been betting? Ooh. I don't bet. No, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but doesn't that make sense, though, that you should be able to bet on yourself? No, no. well, I don't know, because you can also throw the game by betting on yourself. Cause How? Because you think about if you go out there and try to get 30... Cause you bet you go get over thirty, and you uh, mess up the offense and so y'all lose the I game. I got you. I got you. That does make sense. That does make sense. I guess. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Hey, just so you know, mm-hmm. any other one, yeah. any of these guns are for sale in here. Yeah, <laughs> he's still trying to sell guns. <laughs> what? What's your? What's the first gun you bought? Uh, the first gun I ever bought was uh, a piece uh, of shit. It was a Glock. It was a. I think I had a Glock. It was a nine, so maybe a seventeen or nineteen. Oh, Paul, what is it called? Best, the best, get gun. It's what the best it? gun to get. The but gun? either one, seventeen or nine. But my hands are so big, so I had to get rid of it, and uh, I traded it in. I think the guy got over on me, but then again, I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me. So it's the store. So I bought, I bought it from. Um, so unprofessional. Come on, man. Oh. That heroin's That's getting nice. to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I got it from... Um, I'm fucking joking. I'm fucking Berlin joking. Shit, Academy. Man. So I had it for about two weeks. And then uh, we went to the gun range. and uh, The Glock? Yeah. Okay. So we went to the gun range. And uh, I Glock seen this. What? It's a Glock. Uh, in 1907. Uh, 19 or 17. Pay attention. So, uh, You're going to make him repeat himself? <laughs> so um, let's see. We went in the gun range. I seen a, uh, a Glock 21C. Okay. So I, I don't never really see nobody with one of those, and it was big, you know, and my hands big. So I'm like, uh, he got it for sale. I'm like, how much you want for it? Forgot how much he said. I'm like, I'll trade you my gun. It's a brand new gun, but so we made a trade, and I still had to pay some cash. So how I'm much? Like, I don't even remember. Probably about two, two hundred, maybe three hundred. Yeah, the no, most. It's, so yeah. I don't really know. So I don't. It was a new twenty one C. That I don't. I doubt if it was new. I mean, yeah. it feel new. Yeah. So that's about right. Uh, the 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 bigger models are a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks more than the standard ones. Yeah, I just felt like, damn, I just paid like I don't remember how much I paid, probably about five, six hundred, maybe I don't remember. That's average. And I'm like, I just traded this gun in, and I still had to pay more, right, to get this other gun. So I kind of felt like I lost, but I didn't, cause I think the twenty one C kind of like a collectible, maybe. Yeah, there's not many of them. Yeah, so. Like, and right. especially if your hand's big and you don't like the other one. Holes in them? Yeah, the holes at the top. Yeah, it's ported. It keeps the barrel down when you're yeah. shooting a lot. You still got it? Yes, I got it in, uh, I got it right now. I just beat mm-hmm. him when we were just shooting. I got it. We're talking about the C? Yeah, 21C. You still he changed got the, the rules. He didn't beat The one with the holes in it? Yeah, the holes on the top, two air holes. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. I don't know what I want. I just had that gun. Yeah, he <laughs> So how do y'all know each other? Y'all grew up together? So... This is my brother. That's my uncle. Oh, okay. So your uncle's bigger than you. Fuck, the family business. I love it. <laughs> I love it. How happy were y'all when he got when he got yeah. drafted? I think Will is happier than him. <laughs> you should have seen him. They was ready to get on their knees. Who? <laughs> he said who? <laughs> he said who? So as a bodyguard, does sometimes it feel like it's kind of strange bodyguarding somebody who's like a giant? I mean, you're a giant too. Who oh, your family big, like Vikings or something? How are they having <laughs> just nothing but eight feet tall kids? Yeah, it was like a big deal. Like, same way you watch your kids, make sure they stay out of trouble. Did like, you? Did you play any sports, football, or anything? Uh, I played. They, this was my son. They used to put me on the team. Right. But, but I couldn't really stick with it. I didn't have like a backing with it. it was, right. Like, solely on me, so I couldn't really pursue it. Right. Like the biggest regret of my life, like. It was it really? Yeah, definitely. Man, like I, I said, though, gotta, it's not... Even if I wasn't starting, I'd be satisfied with sitting on the bench making $2 million a year. Like, oh. Tell me about it, huh? Jesus uh, Christ, $2 million a year. 
So not to ask what you make, but you're uh, you're happy <laughs> with what you're at now. I mean, I mean, you're still what only 25. two years at. How long have you been in the league? Uh, going on my fifth year, I believe. Five. Yeah, I got drafted in eighteen. So. And then this year was the first year with OKC. Second year. Second year with OKC. Yeah. Is there anybody that you played against that you've watched growing up that you feel strange on the court with? Like if I, I was, I remember watching Michael Jordan's last uh, NBA All Star game. And I would think that if I was entering the league, because I'm obviously well tuned to playing basketball in the NBA, <laughs> if I was entering the league as he was leaving, it would almost be to where I wouldn't be able to even think about playing basketball, watching one of the greats play against me. Mm-hmm. Um, is, is that ever happen? Or once you go into game time, it just kind of clicks in and everybody's the enemy until it's over. <laughs> Well, so with me, I never was like starstruck behind people mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So like, not one, not one. I mean, I, like I just look at everybody like, Come just on as now. a person. I Come promise on. you, like, no. Yeah, I, Michael hey, Jackson listen. was in the room. He, he was going, he, Michael Jackson. He said, <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, hey, like, I get the fuck away from my. I love this man. <laughs> hey, look, hey, I he, remember he re- Thriller. He really not lying. Mm-hmm. He really don't must. He uh, really don't must watch me. He like, really don't pay attention to none of that stuff. <laughs> Like coming up, oh, I was nah. Like, I used to be. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be at the game like, man, you about to play LeBron James? <laughs> you know, I'd be uh, coming on the side, going and see. You know, I be. I know a lot of them from me watching them all the time. Sometimes you tell them like, hey, you better watch them do this, that, that, that. Say, bro, if Kobe was still, God bless the dead, if he was still here, man, you had to feel some type of way playing against him, though. Who's the greatest? The greatest, uh-huh. Kobe. No, nah, I don't think so. <sighs> Go ahead, bro. Say yourself. To King, me, King yeah, Jay. my favorite player. <clears throat> no, you say the greatest. The greatest. Actually, actually your favorite player. Hey, who, his favorite player. Jordan. I say Jordan. No, the greatest. Not his favorite, favorite player. Not his favorite. Jordan is the greatest, in my opinion. King if James. Favorite player. I would say I like Kevin Durant. When I, I was like growing Kevin up, Durant. I was a Kevin Durant fan for sure. He King seems James. like a real nice guy. <laughs> you don't like stuff, bro. King James. I mean, I wouldn't say I don't like him, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's another weird thing, right? Exactly. Somebody like Steph Curry, who is <laughs> not he he doesn't look like I've seen him in person once mm-hmm. and he's huge because when you see him on TV, yeah. everybody's monsters. But I mean so he's a very big guy. But looking at him <laughs> compared to other people, it seems like it seems like the equation's broken some way to where he can do things at his height mm-hmm. and weight and size that doesn't really make sense. Does it make sense to you? Like, do you when you see things happen in an odd way like that? When he shoots a three pointer and he's in the fucking locker room and it goes in, and do, 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 you're like, what? What's happening? No, right? Most hey, definitely, dude, he's I'm really sure. not that small. Though. Like, he looks he, small. No, no, he's not. He's well, not. Definitely, he's very big. I thought he was shot when I saw, walked up. I'm like. Looking at him like yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. Not, he's very big for a normal person, yeah. um, but I mean, Fuck, I thought for, he was average height. Man, huh? he, you know, he's not average. No, no, he's like six, he's like six five, six like, four. He closed oh, his height. No, yeah, is he? Oh, yes, yeah, he, he's he, Steph tall. is six five. Oh, six four. They they they, they mark him as that, but he like he no he ain't that much shorter than him at all. Like, and I looked, I'm really? like, really, because I'm thinking him and Clay like the same height, but Clay walked up. Clay like he way too tall. Clay way taller than him. Yeah, Clay like six eight. Yeah, and Clay got to be like six eight. eight, like for sure. And him and Curry are almost the same height. Like he probably just. I would have never thought Steph Curry. Curry is six five. Yeah, I, I don't know how tall he is. He might like be like five, he got to be like six three six four for sure. He got to be like six three six four. I'd have gave him five eleven like me. Five eleven. No, five eleven. Ah. Say That's three my... Hail Marys when you get home. And two <laughs> are fathers. <laughs> <laughs> He's very talented. Uh, uh, yeah, he is. No. But, okay, so now that, uh, I mean, my question doesn't make that much sense now. But I thought, yeah, I thought he was a lot smaller than that. Uh, I mean, hey, then uh, you played KD on one-on-one, huh? When you were in Tulane? Nah, I ain't, we didn't get to play him. So at Tulane, they can't practice at the facility. Oh, me making that up. Uh, uh, he told you that? I don't know. They probably saw it on Instagram. Right, I don't know. Right, Instagram right. said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he played him. 
<laughs> it's a podcast. You beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> he could barely walk out of the. Uh, he could barely walk out of the. Uh, yeah, the exit. <laughs> he was limping. Nah, he had hobbled that for sure. Though. They was working out at the like in the court. We was in there like they were working out. Curry no was in that like they they workouts was insane. And they were just like working out on the side goes like he had walked through the I think and they had like holler and stuff like that. It was enough, but well, I, I mean, had there's... a picture and I was like, Oh, Instagram, they play one on one. Everybody was like, What? Who won? Who won? <laughs> yeah. I was just like, ah <laughs> <laughs> So you man do you manage his Instagram and stuff? Or do you do that yourself or do you even care about Instagram? We talk about I've it. got a lot I've got away from all that stuff. We talk about it. Like he talk he talk about certain things like he posts but he he posts his own pictures. Have you gotten away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, do, you, do you have to filter it? Like at one in the morning and y'all like white girl wasted, he just a, throws a dick pic up nah, there. You're oh, like, hey, no, no, no. Nah, it's other, the, it's he, the other way around. He, he, oh, that okay. part is the other way around. Tell him, don't you put that hey, dick pic on. All right, he don't really post on his page. So, uh, so what happened was, all the posts are going on my page. <laughs> he don't really post. He might post, like every, he posts once every three months. But every like the events goes on, everything goes on my page. Uh huh. So you happy at at being like? Would you want to be? I mean, you're still very young for 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 the distance one could last in the uh, NBA. Would you want to be? I mean, I guess everybody says they would want to be a LeBron James, but would you really? A LeBron James? Because it seems like I hope so. for me, <laughs> yeah. I could. I most definitely could be that person. Yeah. But I, I mean, it seems like fuck everything. I, hope yeah, I wish you. I wish you listened to the the Amber Depp Johnny Depp I'm gonna go thing because it's look. fucked. Up. More money, more problems. I mean, like, hey, that's at, true. Anytime Biggie anybody says does true. anything, he recorded, how, uh, he recorded how uh, how she was lying, trying to say she ain't doing it. Like, was it this she on a, All I did was punch in your face, something like that. Like she was she like, shitting this bad. Yeah, she she fought <sighs> like she was the one really fighting him, and she was trying to act like, and he had recorded her. Saying, yeah, you just, you just a pussy, all that. Uh, uh, uh. Well, first of all, it's very strange when people start recording one another. That's when you mm-hmm. know you're really in a fucking. It's a problem. <laughs> when you start secretly recording your old lady, where you're naked and got ice cream on you, though. Oh, she she was an asshole. So I think I think I honestly believe that she. Um, she was a dominatrix. Was no no. I just think she was one of these girls that that thrived off of being a. It's crazy. Um, Gold digger? No, no. Being in a an abused person who really um, wasn't. I don't think he. I don't think he beat her up or anything before, like that. It's crazy. Before the joke, I said like, uh, what's his name? He used to play um Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp. No, what's his, uh, the name on that? He used to be oh, Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. That used to be, uh-huh. Before I like was hooked on a joke, I used to be hooked on Jack Sparrow like that. I mean, everybody says the same thing though. He's very nice. He's very courteous. All of his other wives and girlfriends, because you know they. They go through women. Yeah. You know, they're all like, you you never would hurt anybody. And she comes along, and there's shit everywhere, and people are getting their ass whipped, and <laughs> he's constantly on blow and beating up her sister, and it's, right. just, it's just a disaster. But there's no proof of any of this. Right. And now it's starting to come out that, you know, like you want to be a, uh, you want to be famous, right? Yeah, hmm. well, this is what happens sometimes when you're famous. You're on NBC 12 hours a day. Damn. Getting called a woman beater and having to show pictures of poop in your bed. Sorry. She's blaming it on the dogs. The dogs are these little, <laughs> they look like big rats, you know, those little teacup things. And the yeah. shit is a human shit. So it's about this big, you know. The, you know it's, a, it's a female shit, so I guess it's a little small. <laughs> but it's bigger than the dog. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's just all your laundry's out there constantly. And it Damn. seems like as soon as this is over, there'll be another. You know, uh, that's too much. Michael Jackson with uh, the kids <laughs> and stuff, and I don't think he did it. I'm not gonna say I don't think he did it. I I, I think so there's, a, a, there's, a pod, there's a possibility. Uh, he would okay, so he would invite. He he was a castrata with. Hold on, if you which, don't know which what, one are we talking about, Michael. Uh, yeah, Michael Jackson. No, I know what they say. I thought you. I'm saying what they uh. What are they going to court for with Johnny Depp? I just saw like the they're stuff that was They're getting a divorce, oh, and right. she said that he beat her up. But all of the 
such very strange recordings that they have of one yeah, another it, doesn't lead to believe that. Yeah, I, it would I heard lead you to believe that she was beating yeah, him up. Yeah, I heard it. That's what I heard. I heard like the recording of her um, admitting she whooping like. Fun right, she said, "I'm not punching you. I'm just hitting you. Yeah. I can hit you. Go tell a jury that I beat you up. Look how you big pussy. You'll look like a yeah. bitch if you go tell yeah, him I, I beat I, you. I heard so that. I can I hit you. I'll hit you, but I'm I'm not." I'm not punching you. I'm just beating you up and hitting you. <laughs> what led to the divorce being public? Like, oh, it was a fucking disaster. Depp, it, 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 he big. He, he, like, he was one of the biggest actors for a while. Like, I, I, I Pirates of can't be with She won a certain amount of money. And, uh, yeah, why Pirates of the and she fucked up and said... She said, as shit. For real, for that. She said, I was a victim of domestic violence right, or right. something like that. But she didn't necessarily say him. Yeah. But she said, after my divorce... I'm going to donate all my money to the ACLU and something else, like Children's Hospital. And she didn't end up doing that, which kind of compounded the fact that she was standing up for women's rights. And then she kind of said, at the time, before I was divorced, I was abused, which connected her to Johnny Depp. And now everybody thought that Johnny Depp was beating the hell out of her. And... uh and there's just been a bunch of stuff that's come out. It's just disastrous. Like, if I was going through that with my wife, and it was not true, and 150 million people so in the country a, thought it was. To criminal case, like, oh, my so God. Just, and now everybody's kind of on the side of Johnny Depp. We're like, this, you know, she's she's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you're a female actress and you can cry on command like yeah. that, <laughs> that's not normal. I've seen one clip, like, she wanted to... Like dressed like that, Johnny Depp like the same. They're 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 all crazy like yeah, that. The best actors like that, they're out of their fucking mind. That's You're not true. supposed to be able to cry without. Yeah. You know, if they say okay and <laughs> action, and you start fucking crying and acting in a different yeah. accent, and it's good. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking nuts. You're not supposed to be able to do that. That's crazy. That's why they're all nuts like that. Yeah. So yeah, you want to be famous? Why well, turn on a. a CBS when you get home and watch uh, the misery of all of that. Did you get tied up in any of the the racial bullshit that has been going on in the last two years? I hate to even bring it up because it feels like I don't see any of it. Uh, we officially now have more non-white people that work here than white people, but it seems like every time you turn on the news, it's just hate all over the news. Do you see that anywhere? I mean, I've never experienced it myself personally. But Dude, where's I mean, all it coming from? I mean, I just look at it to a, like... People put themselves in certain situations. I don't know. Uh, it I mean, just seems like it's worse now on TV. I don't ever. know, like, like them police situations, I understand where most of them come from, but I wouldn't. I don't think that happens to no person like me. I think... I mean, um, when I get pulled over, I, I comply, like, we can't handle none of this right here anyway, like... Well, I mean, I know there's racist people. And those are terrible people that shouldn't have the positions of authority. So I believe that. But that the whole country is now going through this metamorphosis that everybody hates everybody. And this group hates this group. And now, you know, people are beating up Asian people for no reason. I don't actually see any of the hate. But there was, for the NBA, there was a little bit of, like, people kneeling and not kneeling and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Was there anything that y'all got together with and was, like, that oh. affected y'all as, as a team to where you would want to make a, a difference for a specific reason? Or did y'all even buy into it? Because a lot of teams are saying, look, I don't, we're not buying into this. Half of our ticket sales are, you know, all of our fans are white and black. and Probably mm -hmm. in the bubble. In the bubble, I would say, yeah. They kind of got together and, um, had a little meeting and stuff like that and came up with something. And that was you it. think it helped, though? Uh, I mean, it still goes on. So, I mean, I don't know. Can't yeah. really say. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like that type of stuff is just going to go on forever. It's just right. I mean, you're stuff. always going to have, out of 100 people, there's always going to be one or two that are just fucking assholes. Right. But I don't think that should that should designate what the news portrays to yeah. the world, I think it makes it a lot worse. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, I Which like I think is sad. Is like, it exists, but the media just exaggerates a, a lot of things. So it's like, well, I think the media is dying. Like, I think the media is slowly imploding on itself, and it needs clickbait like that. 
yeah. to get some views and eventually there'll be no big media like that it'll be yeah. it'll be that? joe rogan's and it'll be you know uh neil uh, uh shit what's the astrophysicist like mm-hmm. super smart mm-hmm. guy black no, dude man. but anyway they people that tell the truth that uh drink and curse occasionally there's no fucking commercials you don't more, have to more factual instead of opinion right i was watching something on cnn the other day and i usually watch fox but occasionally i watch cnn just to see what's going on on the other side of the uh aisle and there's a panel with like 12 people on it and it's a five minute segment like what fucking genius put 12 people in a room that all disagree with one another <laughs> and it's they got five minutes to yell at each other until they go to commercial like, that's not a way to communicate. Nah, because people really don't communicate to, like, to understand them more. They just, like, really listen to, like, you know, to respond. It's not really to understand what's going on. They just really want to hear what you got to say so they can respond to it instead of understanding what's really going on. Right. And that's just what it is these days. That's why I love this. <laughs> New people, people that we've just met, people that we've known for a long time, crazy people. You know, professional athletes, people that uh, the next uh, we got soon coming on the profit thinks the the world's flat and there's an ice wall, there's space is fake. <laughs> but I mean, I love all of that. I love talking about anything. Antarctica. But uh, <laughs> well, technically, if you talk to the prophet, there still could be an Antarctica. It's like a pizza, and the surrounding parts are the ice walls where the dragons and gnomes live. But okay. we won't get in there. <laughs> Melvin's, Melvin doesn't have time for dragons. Yeah, Melvin doesn't. What kind of gun would you want to have? Your dream gun. A dream gun? Your dream gun. Well, you might not. Do you know? Like, are you that deep in the uh, firearms? I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say I got a dream gun, but uh, let's see. Oh, you, you play Call of Duty? I play Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. Get the. Fuck. I used to play Call of Duty. There's a, there's about two or three of them. Fortnite's yeah, one of them. Trying to play that shit. Everybody likes. All I Call of Duty buy and Fortnite. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> buy. I couldn't shoot. You sound like him. All you I buy do, what? Just a like fucking who? character. Yes. Bought bought one one character. Me. LeBron James. <laughs> the LeBron James in Fortnite. Yeah. 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 All type of people in Fortnite. Every month or something they have something where you can play with Spider Man or Deadpool. Or some yeah. kind of action character that they promote. And what do you do? You, you it's a you shooting can game, it, yeah. or you play basketball? No, it's a shooting. Oh, okay. Game. I didn't know if that's where they make their money at. LeBron though. James it's a free is going game, up against Spider Man. All the stuff you buy, it doesn't make your character any better, and it's just it's full of looks. It's bullshit. Yeah. They I'm, build, I'm, go ahead, yeah. so there you go, right I'm there. so scared of what's happening right now. I need to go get on. I ain't playing that in a minute. Oh, just play that in there. No, don't play. Don't, Bust y'all don't up. play anymore. Of that. No, you no. What? You quit. So Stop playing all of that. I won. No, you didn't. I did Black win. Black won the first one. And I won the second game. Like, all right, oh. you didn't win then. Have you ever played as yourself? No, not on Fortnite. On um, 2K. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, on 2K. Oh, yeah. What is that like? I be busting That's him up nice. with, with his own nice. player. Is it, is it cool? Yeah, just to see myself on a game, you know, that everybody play. Like, my friends and stuff, they always play the game. And just seeing me on it, it was like, damn, I'm really on the game. And it's God damn, I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> I couldn't imagine what that feels like. Uh, like Rogan, who has like the biggest podcast ever, they just put him as an unlockable character in the UFC game. Yeah. And he, uh, and he had He's a, a bad similar. Though, bro. Yeah, yeah, he can he can kick the piss out of you. You'll bleed. <laughs> you'll piss blood. You know, I don't want to shit myself if somebody if I get you know and scrappy and somebody kicks me in the fucking chest and I shit for. Four weeks. Somebody kick me the whole, the whole fight over. We don't need to fight no more. You kick me as over. That's yeah, don't yeah, kick me. Yeah, you too experienced. You, you can beat me. me up, but don't kick you me. You kick me as over. It's too you too experienced, man. It's time to go <laughs> grab something. Yeah, it's time to go that's grab the fir- That's the first thing I ask before we get in the good scrap. Are you gonna kick me? And they say, Yeah, I'm gonna kick you. I'm all right. Okay, you win. Mm-hmm. Let me go home. I'm hungry. I want Popeyes. Yeah, as soon as somebody kick me, I'm picking up uh-huh. something. You you already uh threw the fight out the window. Once you kick me as over. Mm-hmm. You're too experienced for me. So got you it. never did say what kind of gun you like, man. man. Bringing this back. I like a... Uh, we got a Desert Eagle downstairs. I ain't never uh, saw one in real, like, in real life. Uh, I, I shot a Desert Eagle. A Desert Eagle uh, you never seen? No, I always see it like on movies in a game. I never saw uh, one in be, real life. Be. But none of that is none of that gets you? Uh, That's some of the rarest machine guns on what, the planet. What is this? 
That's a uh, MP5 integrally suppressed I SD. So it was just like a silencer? Yeah, grab it. Nothing. I ain't got hey, you drive that, it, man. your brother's paying for it. I can't afford oh, that. Oh, well, oh, it's all right. Long as you say, dropping it. Long as you say he paying for it, not me. Hey, we'll take, we'll, 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 we'll take notes out. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure the cup. camera's empty. So oh. this thing comes off. Get your bolt back, no mag. And this whole thing is so actually what you a, think it, yeah. a suppressor. Yeah, that's the one. Uzi. That's the one that killed Ricky. Come on. <laughs> so that's a can. That's that Uzi. That's your suppressor. That Uzi right now, little Uzi Vert. Oh no, it don't get him started. That's your suppressor. All right. And then your barrel is actually only about that long. I see. Uh huh. About five inch. Well, so would that be don't make no sound at all? Uh, it make a sound, but it's gonna be very. Yeah, about five. Yeah, about five very inches so. right there. <laughs> with this and the then character, you go. <laughs> 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 this this much, you got two inches there. So Man, <laughs> five, <laughs> five <laughs> inches. <laughs> it's cold in here, motherfucker. Stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, you got an integrally suppressed MP5. One of my favorite guns ever. I need to give you some nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, yeah. I need to get me one of these, right? That's cool. That's quiet. Yeah. Really quiet. Oh, so the bigger that can oh, gets, so. yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the bigger so. that is, the quieter it gets. The quieter it is. Oh, sorry. That's the uh, that's the physics oh, into it. So I can hit somebody with that, and they still everybody still be asleep. Mm. So most of the noise you hear is the percussion of the gun, like the gun functioning. Mm -hmm the percussion of the bullet itself, and then the bullet breaking the sound barrier, and then the bullet hitting the metal backstop. So what's the powerful is going So the more you can, oh, it's by far, that's a BAR. The, 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 I that's a BAR. I'm talking right? about the rest yeah, of these. I tell you what, you won't stand uh, in front of the another top right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't stand in front yeah. of 22. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to even want a bottle thrown my, in my direction, so yeah, don't shoot me with any of that, but. No, the top left by far, but top right is a five five six. So yeah, it's a rifle round. Wait, I know a gun I like. I like uh, this this one right here. Nah, no. Nah. It, it hit harder than that. You see how my ex I like. <laughs> it's I actually like kind of shitty that gun. Which one? Fact, it's what right there. <coughs> You're looking at it. It's yeah. the scar. Yeah, I like a scar. The scar. We just sold a twenty. I saw the scar is twenty. I want one. How much these? Uh, okay, so. Drop some knowledge. So to buy a full auto machine gun, yeah. it has to be made prior to 1986. Long time ago. So there's a very few of them out there. Mm -hmm. So they're very expensive. Yeah, it's like trying to buy like a Shelby, you know, GT500 oh, yeah. that was made in 69. There's not a lot of them. So people that have them can pretty much ask whatever they want. We have one for sale, an Uzi for sale downstairs that's legal and full auto for 17000 And then we have an M16 that's legal and full auto for 29000 So what's your highest gun? That one, 29000 <laughs> Well, we have purchased, technically, an AKM, which is a full auto AK variant that's an underfolder, and it'll probably about be about 30, 30 35000 so is this more like an investment? Investment, yeah. Most yeah. people that buy them, attorneys, lawyers, right. pro so, athletes, yeah. people that want to put their money in something that's fun and that's going to go up 10% a year. Oh, yeah. so you just hold that gun and just sell it? Well, or I mean, you shoot it. It's or you can be like fun. Drake and buy a person. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> huh? Drake, the rapper, he buys expensive purses. Like man purses? No, women purses. Oh, with lipstick in them? So what do you do that for? Um, Ain't just holding? Because it's worth a lot of money. Don't talk about Drake around him. He gonna get wet. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to see. I might need to go buy some purses. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Nah, mm -hmm. one purse, uh, Everybody you can buy like five pounds. Everybody needs a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's high. See, he's, a th he's got a thing about shoes, which I didn't even know he existed. Does too. Oh man, I can't. How, how do you wear them and walk around and you step in dog poo with shoes? Hey, I don't try, I don't try to shoot with me. Huh? I don't try to shoot. I, I ain't say you treasure them. I just like shoes. No, I'm, no, I get that. I get that. All my but shoes. Wearing them. All my shoes. I don't, don't. Yo, he wears the shoes. I mean, you're supposed to, huh? Some shoes that I haven't worn. Who the have fucking you step into poo poo? Right, what you buying them for? If if you ain't gonna wear them. Right, um, right, right. I would. I don't know. <laughs> I would fucking buy them and then hit myself in the head with a hammer when I got home and I don't have any money and yeah. then fucking rinse through.
Dude. <laughs> I'd say I got these shoes. <laughs> and the old Chinese lady would say, hey, fuck those shoes. I want my $2,800. You're no. behind two payments. <laughs> Out. Twenty eight hundred dollars. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> Boy, I need to be paying a mortgage. Uh, right, a mortgage. Oh, you see, get behind dude. two or three months, you owe, you owe her three grand. Too funny. Now, she doesn't take Nikes. <laughs> she doesn't understand me. I'm a foam head, so I got all the OGs yeah. except the paranormals. Yeah, you ain't got the paranormals? That's the only ones I ain't got. I was about to squeeze on them, but you know how much they? Uh, hey, they, they I was they, about to drop twenty eight. I was about to say that's a grip. How much you drop twenty eight? Crazy! How much you got? Oh god, that sounds so crazy. How much you got? Uh, what hey, size you were? I might hey, get them. Weird, weird wins. What size you were? Uh, that's what he says on the shoe. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. On paranormal, paranormal. It was a cartoon or something. No, it was a, a cartoon that came out. Oh, I got you. And it was advertising that shoe for that. And they like green and black, huh? Green and black. Yeah. They like. I smoke. thought they were fucking haunted. I wouldn't want And on the back, on the back, it had foam posits. Get that shit away from me if it's haunted. I'm gonna ghost. Not foam, but foam. Foam. F O A. These shoes come with ghosts. <laughs> nah, it says and they're only hands on the back. They're only twenty eight hundred. Silhouette of his little head, well, mm-hmm. big ass head. The ghost head. No, it's a kid that I think you can said see ghosts. Ghost. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a kid that sees ghosts and um. Yeah, no, I go with my cheap shoes. Yeah. No, which which shoes you got? Covered in lead. No, fuck, I don't know. I'm white boy. I'm white boy. I'm sure they're less than $85. And they probably came from some uh, somewhere that also sells cheap uh, cotton made suits that are all one size. <laughs> I need to stop buying shoes like you, oh. clothes and shoes like you. But hey, but I have heard that shoes are very collectible yeah, and collectible. they hold their value very well. Well, not all of them, but they out there. Certain, there you go, go down. Certain models. So that would be cool. I just wouldn't be able to wear them. You know? There you go. If I Paranormal was gonna, shoes. If right I was going to. Oh, oh they're so sexy. Oh, look, they're so sexy. They oh, are, my God. They are kind of cool. Damn it, man. Uh, That's the crazy. only pair I don't have. You got every other pair? I had it, all the OGs. Those are kind of cool. You name it, I got it. You would wear those to work, though? And I showed them. I had the, uh, I wore the Galaxies that day. You got the Galaxies, too? I got the uh, Galaxy Rookies that as well. But that's the only pair. Look, the galaxy's right there. How strange is that? That somebody came up with the fact that we're gonna sell shoes. That so that you, was the most expensive shoe. The only thing that you put on the ground every day, like and we're gonna make them like, three thousand dollars a set. Man, things are like is worth whatever you're willing to pay for. How crazy is that though? Just the thought of it. Very. Look at that shit. That's like sexy, some scientist bro. goes into a room with a bunch of beakers and says, "You know what we're gonna make? We're gonna make the <laughs> best shoe." It's going to be a $3,000 pair of shoes. I'm trying to think. Who had this shoe? You had this shoe? I ain't never had those ones. Somebody had this shoe. What's the most expensive right shoes you got? Like Nike-wise or yeah. just in general? Man, in general. The most I ever paid for some shoes. Got to be some designer shoes. I don't know, like some red bottoms or something. Mm-hmm. But, uh, God, I bought my wife a pair of shoes for Mother's regular? Day. Nah, just regular. Oh. Uh, the most I ever paid for Jordan's probably was like 300 uh, do they do they um help by playing basketball? Do they help? Uh, uh, no. Nah, they don't. that's the worst fucking shoe to play. <laughs> no. What I mean, Jordans? No, uh, not really. I play in Jordans. Not I play the Jordan tens. The tens, the tens, and tens the, and elevens. Uh, that's the Jordans I play in. I'm about to say the tens and what's it called? Probably easy. Cause they but flat, I mean, are there some? Flat is there a handful the that are like known to be the best basketball player shoes? I mean, everybody's different because every player has a different feel. Like, you put these on, you're dunking from the three-point line. Now, they did make some shoes that had some kind of spring inside of them, and they banned them from the NBA. What shoes that was? It was That was uh, Like Mike. That came out in the he late 90s. Like, like, like Mike. <laughs> it actually had a spring inside of it. But that, that shoe there was actually yeah, the most expensive shoe. Yeah, you were wearing those shoe. shoes. You were wearing those the other day. I got them. I really don't care for blue. Uh, you don't like you blue? I love That's red. why you just told I him about red. his hat? Yeah, yeah, I love red, bro. If I was a gang member, it'd be, yeah, <laughs> it'd have been a blood. Look at the buy it now price. <laughs> what is it? 42000 Add the card. Oh, 42000 I should have no, kept no. them shoes. Ain't no way. Uh, nah. Wow. Are they really worth that or somebody just It's nuts? only worth whatever you're willing to pay for. So basically, them shoes, they might make like 
But that's not something you can go to J.C. Penney's and get. No, no, no. You can go to Walmart and you get it. You gotta go. Now. You gotta go to a, <laughs> get that pet zoo. No. <laughs> you gotta go to a guy under a bridge after midnight to that's get crazy, those. Bro. Them shoes really forty two. I ain't nobody paying that shit for them shoes. She. No, that, hey, the most that, now the holy grail I is the 40. Back to the Future shoes, the Nike Air Mags. Oh, 30, oh, oh, 30, 30 the red, That's I, the ones I had that I wore the, here. The red I told was probably that. That's 2700. Yeah, the red, the red I told was probably going to be one of the highest the shoes. And, um, the red I told was, I, I think they probably going to be one of the highest. When those first released, a basketball player, I can't remember who it was, paid 50000 for that shoe. Fuck. It only, it limits. That feels like you're going to a drug deal and you might get killed. <laughs> nah, but the Red Octobers, they probably like the... They, so they how like, do you... They were the biggest shoe that probably came I think up. like 5,500. Yeah, them like right now, you still oh, get them. So how do you buy yeah, those? That's on pennies. You go online? That's some new pennies. shit. You go online and buy them? No, so... It depends. Each, each store, like say Foot Locker, might that's get a si- one, one size 10. Come on, there's a song. And get a 10 and a half, and then that's it's like you have to that's what that was? get a raffle. Pennies? And Come on, there's a get it. But when you oh, go there. Or you, you get to some South Beaches. Either Red Eye Toe or South Beaches, and you'd be straight. Would you, not to cause conflict within the organization, but what did you think when they, Look at that. T- when they teamed up? 116,000. Three years ago well, in Miami and South Beach. Tell them type of red October. Um, that red October is nowhere compared to that. That's the holy grail. He don't know nothing. They're about still those stuck shoes. on fucking shoes. Over <laughs> I need even like, So fuck. if you was to get a deal to design your own shoe, mm-hmm. who would you go with? <laughs> Converse. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Nike well, bought out Converse. Well, wait, 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 wait. It says right, right here. Nike <laughs> bought Converse. It says right here. It's New Balance. Balance. I will go to. New Balance? That's a running shoe. <laughs> go to. Uh, I'd go with New Balance, Balance or. Well, it depends. Whoever paying, whatever. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's about the money. You exactly. know what I'm saying? What are those? So, I mean, if <laughs> we're going, fucking. We're going Nike. Shaq offer me. Hundred million over Nike. Oh, I'll take God. Shaq. Say, bro, that's a small move. I'm just saying. I'd I mean, go they, with the shoes that have the holes nice for your toes. That's nice, smart. That, that that's look small. Cause they got off. They, they hey, got, that's they, what you <laughs> should do, bro. They, they offer that hundred at the right now, but Nike they give you the uh, like the, the stuff royalties? at the end. That's like, like the royalties, like, like the royalties and all that. Yeah. Then they come back with their full five hundred million. Like I said, it just contract. depends. Like See, I said, Shaq yeah. is gonna come with their hundred at the dope. Sound good. Say, bro. That's what you should do. Now you can come at the end. Go to, go to Wiley World, get your pair of shacks, <laughs> yeah. and wear them to a game, and then you're going to have everybody wearing them. I'll yeah, do that know. for real. You wouldn't do that. You don't think I'll wear a pair of shacks? I don't believe you'll do it. All right, I'm going to show you. What's wrong I'm going to show you. No. Shaquille O'Neal has shacks that you can buy at uh-huh. Walmart. It's uh-huh. like the he hypnose. never made it. I think they, they call it hypnosis. Yeah. You talking about the line, the circles. The white, the white, white. No, no, no. No, no, no. He did. Them, no, them hip noses. No, I'm not hey, talking about those. Them. I'm not talking about those. Hey, them hip noses. I'm talking about the Walmart joints. Yeah, he's talking I'm about talking, the yeah, yeah, the one where he's he's donking yeah. with two legs. I and was like he's those. spreading them. I'm gonna definitely. He, he, oh no. I take them hip noses though. Them hip noses hard. I had a pair. So they're probably yeah, great, go. but what you just can't make. Yeah, he go free throws with them or something. Ah, that's number two. What that was it? So what was wrong with Shaquille yeah, O'Neal? Nobody him. likes Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaq is oh, the one most one. dominant player ever to play basketball. We just talking about this the other day. It was Shaq like, is the I take cool Shaq, the big man out of big man. I take Shaq any day. I take Shaq out of anybody dominant. If you say dominant, well, I take Shaq. Shaq the best big man to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I take for Shaq. For sure. You think you can take him one on one? Can I take? Yeah, hell, mm-hmm. I get ball first. <laughs> If I get ball for his old jump man. ball, See, they say jump ball. ball. Everybody gonna smack the <laughs> ball. They think you better hope he hit all them shots. I'm Shaq ain't to. even got a jump, bro. Right? Because <laughs> you, yeah. you missed wide left one time. <laughs> 2K, put your hands up. You Just wide. keep hacking him. <laughs> hands up. Send him to that free throw line. <laughs> care about your hands being up. That's all it is, <laughs> Shaq. Just shove you in your chest. Hey, I'm jump on that ball, <laughs> son. He ain't worried about that. Uh, just yeah, send him to the free throw line every time. Just kick him every time. Just send him to the free throw line. He ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna call no foul on him. <laughs> he gonna hit him with that body spin. Shaq say, Shay say, you ever saw Hart hit the ground backwards? No, he ain't supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> so who's your favorite rapper right now? Rapper? Or country singer? Oh, uh, I actually listen to country, but uh, rapper. I like country. I my favorite artist. I, I like Luke him, Combs. Uh, you know, you like Drake. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. seen NBA Young Boy for sure, rapper and uh, country. I like Zach Brown Band. I like Zach Brown Band a lot. I like I, them and Luke Combs. I like Sam Hunt. 
Sam Hunt. I like Sam Hunt. He's a dude. He's not messing with Zach Brown. Man, look. Sam Hunt's like I dude. forgot who it is, but Tennessee Whiskey, who's saying that? <laughs> Chris Stapleton? Yeah, that's who I think. I saw you like. Uh huh. So, is there anybody that you would meet that you would be starstruck by? Young boy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just. <laughs> Just yeah, look at everybody. I mean, at the end of the day, we all human. It just, right. It just some seems got so more weird than seeing people others. on TV. That's how I feel. That's, so that's me, my honest uh-huh. personal opinion. But I mean. All right, that's how I feel too, man. It's okay. Shit. <laughs> I'm only start struggling when I see my boy right here. You know who you remind me of? The guru. Just, I mean, just guru. slow in the head. He remind me of Bob Minnery. Me? Yeah. Who's Bob Minnery? The oh, guy that yeah. did The Price is Right? Uh, Pull that shit up. Yeah, uh, that nah, is. he's a uh, podcast. If I'm not oh, mistaken. Oh, you talking about the dude be making a voice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't know Bob. Bob he, he made them yeah. voices like he, he not him. That's not him. Come on, man. That is him. That's oh. him right there. Yeah, that's him right there. Yeah. Is, oh, is that the guy that does uh? The voice uh, and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Bob yeah, yeah. No, he I like him. He's funny though. Like, he I just, like him. <laughs> he said, "I like him." <laughs> I like that. Uh, that uh, those brothers. Uh, fuck. What are their names? I think um, I know who you're talking about. The Island Boys. They're starting. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> The island boys. <laughs> oh my god! You got the shirt, bro. This is our work shirt. He said that's the work shirt. No, no, those are. That's what happens when you get born premature. I'm talking about the guys that are fighting. Uh, oh, you talking his about? Name? Uh, uh, there he is. There's one. Paul. Paul. Paul Jake Paul. Paul. I don't know if I like that though either. They're challenging Floyd Mayweather and other people. It's all for money. It's for it is money. all for money. Money, 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 money man. But and but people are paying it though. <laughs> Hey, you can't knock it up, you on the pay. Look, you motherfucker then. paid me millions or oh, half get a my billion ass dollars beat. to knock me out, knock me out. <laughs> as long as I, I didn't have to eat stuff out of a straw and I could talk to my kids and stuff, yeah, I'd get, get my head kicked in a few <laughs> couple times. Nah, fuck it. Break my jaw. Go ahead. Well, yeah, but I mean, you could still do sign language and stuff and rub your brain. <laughs> I'm talking about being wheeled around like that guy that was, uh, what's the guy? I think he died lately. He talked on the computer. He was oh on, yeah, he's he all crippled. Real was, smart uh, though. Smart, smart. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about like that. I don't want to go. I don't want you to wheel me out of the fucking <laughs> ring. No. I can spend my hundred million dollars on a nice wheelchair that I can talk <laughs> to my kids with for the next <laughs> twenty years for. Yeah. For I roll my wheelchair off of a four-story building. <laughs> so as you was coming up, what was your favorite basketball team? Team. Or did you even know you well, wanted to play ball? You was from here, Tulane, right? Uh, you were from here? Or did yeah, you go to yeah. Tulane? Yeah, I'm from I'm yeah. from the West Bank. So okay. uh, growing up, like I said, I really didn't watch like basketball and TV and mm-hmm. shit like that. I was always outside, just. So you grew being up with uh, Alfred? I mean, I didn't grow up with him, but you know he was around. Uh, real good friends with him. I know. Him, so. Um, so I mean, a lot of people that you still play with, like Chris Paul. I'm sure you watched. I mean, I've watched him and seen him on TV, but it's not like I sat in front of the TV and like. Because oh, he was with New Orleans for a minute, and yeah, he was. We didn't have too many. We didn't have too many big names. I mean, the names that we did, they left everybody. Yeah. Everybody that left turned out to be a star for the most part. Right. <laughs> that <Yeah>. sucks, huh? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing worse than your home team just not being very good. <laughs> God, I love when the Saints were on. After that, it was shit. Just he hated the sink. Was man, it was no publicity. Oh, man. I uh, have a very mixed relationship because they, <laughs> they make me feel terrible every year for 32 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but there was one good year. So it's like uh, if your dad came home every day and kicked you in the head, but one day out of the month, he gave you a box of candy. So you you know you're always looking for that box of candy when you're getting kicked in the head. So yeah, no, I don't pay attention too much to the uh, to sports anymore. I used to love sports. I think it's just all politics, sports. man. I don't know about that. I think right, the city was down. Oh, right oh, oh you mean okay? You mean after that? Uh, that's mm-hmm. that's fair, I suppose. Yeah, y'all funny, but I guess that's fair. In the other last two times we could have went to the Super Bowl, they stopped us. Yeah, definitely. Well, we I, were stopped. Yes. I don't believe in football. I think football is rigged. Yeah, I think football. There's a you there's a few. No, I think you have to. I think uh, you have to still put the ball in the basket. Football, you can. You can run into one another 
at the last play in overtime you, you, and you, not tackle the San also Francisco make, uh, guy and you also let him make, uh, uh, Russell score. Wilson, Russell Wilson throw the ball oh, and God. not hand it off to Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> I still remember that. That was horrible. My wife's family. Yeah, and I was rooting for the other team, and that still was horrible. Like, that guy be the uh, worst ever. My wife's family. Come on, when he broke all them tackles? He, that was the year he broke all the tackles. They were, they were on a one-yard line in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They threw the ball yeah, three times in a row for not much. I let to score the ball, so he, he had to be the uh, Super Bowl MVP, and they picked it off on the line. Patriots. Mm-hmm. Picked it off on the Super Bowl. That was a fucked up game. Tom Brady, another championship. I remember that. Mm-hmm. That was very strange. That's what it was. They didn't really, because he was, that year he wasn't talking to like the media and all that. So they didn't want right. him to be the reason right. they won the game. Right. I remember that. If he scored a they win, they would talk touchdown. to him and he would say, yes. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to say, what's your, what's your favorite player when I'm you were here. a kid? And he'd say, yes. I'm just here so I don't get fired. Uh-huh. <laughs> that yep. be, That's exactly what he said. I'm just here so I don't get fired. That's right. And all he'd say is yes. Yep. So they didn't really want him favorite to Favorite ice cream? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you have any animals or any uh, groups that you donate to? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite car? Yes. And then they'd finally get the point where they're not going to get an answer out of them. But I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, he said he talked to the media. He did. He didn't say anything. And they left him alone. But, yeah, I think they kind of fucked him in that. But I don't know who they that... They messed themselves up, too. Yeah. They, yeah. I don't I don't know. It was good for me, though, because I'm a Tom Brady fan, so... Oh, there you go. So you can't bet. Yeah. So, so I know you're not betting. But is anybody else anybody else betting? I don't know. I bet y'all can't all shoot him. And what? And what? what? <laughs> I'm and against it. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't picked up a fucking basketball before. I, I, I oh, probably, talking, about basketball. talking about a gun or something. Oh, no shit. Uh, oh, that's um, what I'm, 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 I'm maybe. I won't I challenge a man at a job. Yeah, <laughs> make no sense. That's like me going there and challenging him and shooting in the gym. Right, I'm not. Uh, I'm not picking not up crazy. a basketball you you in can't. your presence. You, know, you ain't got faith in yourself. But that's their job. I they, don't even play ball, but I think I got shoot. But, but you gotta think about it. They wake up and do this every day. Like they get paid to do something every day. Yeah, mm-hmm. once you, once you, that's once like y'all. Y'all get paid to do this every day. You don't come in here and be like, hey, let's have a shoot off. Hey, bro, I'm a baby, bro. All right, this. The next uh, video we're doing is we're gonna try to shoot a rifle caliber down the barrel of another gun and we did it it's yesterday like the, the day before and we could get it within about a fifth of an inch group so, yeah, I just didn't hear so I think guns. we could do it well it was already fucked up nobody <laughs> wants it. it's a broke ass single no, no, shot no, no, shotgun it's a, man, it's a brand new beautiful gun <laughs> no I wouldn't sell him <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> I'd come out and he'd hit me over the head with that fucking thing and take his money back uh, <laughs> no but yeah we're gonna we uh we do goofy stuff with you know we shoot do goofy shit like that it's fun but yeah. I do uh I do enjoy talking to people that are on the next level that have certain insight as to what it's like, especially at a young age. I mean, mm-hmm. there's no 80 year old basketball players. Uh, I think what? Who's the oldest? Well, it was was it Vince Carter? Was the oldest before you retired? Yeah, that still was in there. Not as probably LeBron James. <laughs> he was in his late 30s. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, Vince Carter. Yeah, he was 37. Yeah. He, I'm not no, he was no, 40. Uh, he was 40. He was 40. 40. Wasn't uh. They got a couple. He of played for 40. Boston three pointer. Um, he was one of my favorite players when I was growing up. Fuck, what was his name? Larry Bird? No. no. Why? Because he's white? Why? Ah. He's, he's in Boston. <laughs> in no, no. This was like uh, in 2008, 2009, 2010. Paul Pierce, Ray pa- Allen? Uh, Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Mm-hmm. He was old, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, but I think uh, Vince Carter went a little older than that. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Well, I said he went into his 40s, like late 40s. Like yeah. Late 40s. Really? Like 45 or something like that. So you know, like, think about LeBron, 34, 37 now, 38, 37. Uh, he might be right. Vince Carter was like 45 or something, 40-something week. Did you see, uh, did you see, I love Dave Chappelle, did you see his latest thing? The one? Uh, when, he, when he talks about uh, LeBron James and, and transsexual oh, and yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, transsexual one. Yeah. He said, so why don't you, this is a question, what happens if LeBron James changes his gender? Where he will go into the WNBA and that motherfucker will score 840 points a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Play that, Paul. That's or what you could do is you could shut the fuck up. This is the type of shit. If you want to be in the next one, bro, we'll do it for you, bro. Yeah. That'll be you right there. And then you will do this. <laughs> That's a bulletproof table we were selling, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't bulletproof. He walked away a little bloody, but he was all right. <laughs> no, we cut the... Uh, you want to sign up? We cut the... Uh, yeah, how much y'all paying? I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> it actually looked really good. We did that uh, with a GoPro. That's yeah. tough. That's nice. All right, uh, I'm not going to hold you too much. God damn. Time in this room fucking disappears. What else y'all got for me? Nothing. I'm, I'm grateful that you came. It was nice meeting you. Everybody I meet that would seem to be... An asshole? No, no. <laughs> come on. But at a level that most humans don't reach. You know, a professional level. No matter what it is. If you're the best at... Building computers, that Apple guy that died. Uh, if you are in the NBA, if you're in the NFL, anybody mm-hmm. like that. When I meet them, it's oddly uh, synonymous with maybe not an average person, but but I'm always surprised on how nice everybody is. Which goes to my thinking of why the news and the world seems to be falling apart when relationships between people that don't really know each other seem to be getting better. I don't understand it. (laughs) And that makes me sad. So that's one of the reasons why we do this. I like talking to people that that I wouldn't have known or wouldn't have met other than coming in here. And uh, and I'm always happy by the end of it. So thank you very much for coming. No, thank y'all. All right, so we do a quick fire round Mm -hmm. when we end. Better turn your brain on. Go ahead. I need okay. quick answers. Quick answers? Ass. You're on a desert island. Naked. No, you're not naked. <laughs> I mean, you're skimply dressed, so <laughs> women could be an issue. Okay. There's a bench on the island. A bench, like you sit on? Yeah. Uh-huh. And help is coming. Okay. You're, you're not worried no about killing and eating this fool. Uh-huh. But you got about two hours before help gets there. Okay. You can pick anybody, dead or alive, to sit on that bench with you and have a conversation. Who would it be? Just a conversation. Just a conversation. Just a con- well. I mean, <laughs> you gotta you gotta do the second half <laughs> if it's a female. Um, uh, two hours. It's the fast two hours. A fast two hours. I would say Bernice Burgos. Is that a woman? Yeah. Oh, I would only need five or six seconds, probably. What, happened? what are you gonna do with the other? What are you gonna do with the other hour and fifty nine minutes? Stretch it. Start well, who over is she? It. Who is she? Start over and go get. <laughs> who? Start over and go Bernice get. Burgos. Who is it? Tell look, the, look up uh, Paul if you're still awake. Look up Bernice Burgos. Well, Bernice Burgos, if you're hearing this show, please, please. send some nudes to two shots <laughs> in. Bernice. And tell her daughter inbox me. Burgos. <laughs> man, daughter. Watch out, man. Bernice The mom Burgos. and the daughter. Wait, that's a twin? No, they daughter. She got, listen. And she like. She like 40. She, how did, yeah, she how did you twin. find this beautiful you young lady? But you see her daughters too. Her daughters dislike her. <sighs> see, I've never seen. I don't. How do you. Uh, come on. What, 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 uh, Instagram. And she 40. Oh, Instagram. She about 40, 50. Instagram model. Yeah, I got you, see, Instagram. Tell click that picture down there. That's her, I think that's her daughter's down there. The one. Oh, Shit, she looks younger than her daughters. No, that's not her no, daughter. No, that ain't her daughter. Tia and Cruz. No, you got to see her daughters. Mm. Her daughters them look just like her. They just younger. You know, they say black don't crack. God, that's a good choice. Yeah, she ain't crack. She ain't crack. Mm-hmm. Melvin, I got to give she it to you. She got a twin, man. No, that's her daughter. That's her daughter. Her I'm her trying daughter to tell look you, her daughters like... them look just like her. Drake was fucking her. He probably hey. would. I wouldn't put it past him. No comment. Drake got the money. Drake, Drake bedroom is the size this of This is my the house. Uh, first time I've seen this beautiful young lady. It's a good choice, Melvin. Oh, great choice. Uh, like I said, <laughs> like I said, that would nah, be a, that. that would be fuck, bro. that would be yeah, an uncomfortable <laughs> hour in fifty nine minutes. <laughs> the first Baby, two if minutes. Watching this, she is ugly as fuck. Oh, I would say, uh, Miss Burgos, uh, I got us the a plane ticket out of here and no wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Please. Now uh, what if Miss Burgos had got that surgery that uh Bur- oh she's not getting that surgery. That was that surgery. <laughs> We're talking about the surgery where you ch- change people and uh whatever they want to do. Bernice ain't getting that, son. She's way past that level. Hey man. So that's Instagram? Yeah. Okay. 
That's the daughter right now. So that's the new thing is Instagram? I mean... I don't have an Instagram. You don't have an Instagram? Why are you doing podcasting? <laughs> I learned that Twitter, Instagram, I think it's bad for you. It is, but it if is. you're doing this, you but if you're doing this, you man, should have well, Instagram. well, I'm well, talking. you're right. So we do, we we just we started some other stuff like Apple Podcasts and Instagram that Paul started. But you gotta you gotta drop and roll. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't read the comments. You can't. It's just hate. Oh, it you know, is, but just, you gotta so don't, see it, that don't really get to me because you know that's coming. So like, I don't read any of the comments. I, even if I read it, it doesn't. It wouldn't make me mad because uh -huh. like these people doesn't know me, right? And it, even if they did, it doesn't make my life like whatever they do. It doesn't make right. me feel how they can't make me feel in a way. But the Instagram, you right. need that to get out more and more. Yeah, put no, yourself I agree. In front of more eyes, like this video. This saying you had an Instagram. This say y'all got a thousand <clears throat> people listening. Mm -hmm. Like you get an Instagram, that gonna go to three thousand like in no time because it's. Mm -hmm. Putting out that content, content people. Yeah, he just, thankfully, Paul just started one, and he's got, uh, we did it a day, and I think our best video's got a few thousand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just like, if y'all post TikTok. this, to say y'all post this the date, and y'all right. tag one of us, I can, we can share it in our story, mostly everybody oh, we know fucking right. can cool. watch it, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. that, but that's all on Instagram, about networking, getting more people to tap in and that's watch. That's what I Instagram, need, I started a TikTok, and they fucking took my video off. Instagram <laughs> does long videos? <laughs> It's, yeah, they updated. Okay. You can put anything on it now. About nine minutes, ten minutes if you want. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, so not, not a whole podcast, though. Right, whole, no, no, you, no, you could. You, you could do like... You probably could do the podcast, but you don't need the podcast. You just put... Let's say like, like a little clip of get it like the funny parts. Let's say like one of the funny parts right, of this right, clip. Right. You want to post that. Even if it's 13 seconds, post it. Tell them, click your bio with a link at where they're going to bring it to YouTube. Right. And you watch the whole thing. It ain't necessary. YouTube we just did one that was real funny. Yeah. I shot a uh, 300 wind mag. Yeah, it was hilarious. He shot I the fucking I didn't shoot the up. roof. The fucking... <clears throat> What's the word? Percussion? Yeah, that's fucking what it vibrated was. the fucking roof. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, like you put, like we post one of that. I post that on my page. People might just be on that, boom, boom, clicking. Right. Then right. they might want to see the rest. They gonna click your page and click it. They go watch the rest of the video. Then you gonna have YouTube videos. Hi, Paul. You listening? Up and up. And up. <laughs> Paul's our producer. He's in that room over there. Yeah, that's but that's how that go. Like the Instagram. That's a big that and Twitter is something you really want to have if you're doing. Podcasting. So I, tr I try to call, this is how it happened. I try to call Black Rambo out. Mm -hmm. Which I, I'm not nowhere on his level, but I just want to. Y'all know who that up. is? I know Black yeah. Rambo. Well, you know him personally? I don't know him personally, but well, like, you I watch him, his videos. Know we want we to put him on a podcast. Right, I know. But so I, I try to call him out. But that's how I'm you the one hand band man. <laughs> I'm shooting everything with one hand. All right. Oh, that's you? That's me. All right, all right, all right. See, look at that. I didn't even know that. You don't know what he's talking about. There's a video. You nope. try to shoot that with the one hand. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when that, you can go on that. Like, you probably go on his Instagram and it, and it might have his email. Or you might can DM him and I, tell I him. I did that. that. I did that. Well, you might got to go to email. See? I did it and I'm trying to get him here. You got Ghosted. an email? I don't want no smoke, but, <laughs> you know, he got more money. And, yeah. I mean. Nah, that's all you do. You, like, it's basically like a business. You go on there. Uh -huh. If he got an email or whatever, they have booking. Like, it'd be like they booking. So, you just write him. They might, see, he might charge y'all a little something, but. He might know. Don't know what it is. Like, if you, you know, challenge him, we'll we'll yeah, he'll come through. Send him some pictures of you and your boxers. And Man, yo. Boxers. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's just, he's I'm a lot accepting of, of bro, all cultures. He's in around this. a lot of white guys. Huh? So he's around <laughs> a lot of white guys. So he... I'll send him a picture. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck if it. Uh, just okay. burn uh, after sorry. reading, Black Rambo. <laughs> Yeah, so I shot the damn gun. All right, so last one. Hold on. He's got to get out of here. So that same desert island, mm -hmm. you may or may not get picked up. Okay. You can bring one thing. What is it? What can I bring? Mm -hmm. One thing, one thing, one thing. My car. Oh, what you gonna do on an island? Okay, that was hey, his answer. That's my answer. That was if, his answer. You need a boat. <laughs> <laughs> a boat. If it's me, I'm saying. <laughs> if it's me, I'm saying. <laughs> boat, <laughs> he didn't say I can get off the island. He said I got to stay on it. not get picked up. After right, 10 hours, I'd be I'm fucking nigga. I just started driving the fucking ocean. My GT, man. Bring me my cup. Oh, his car's got gas in it. It don't last that long. No, 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 no. That gas don't last long. Oh, he's putting premium and gas is like five fucking man oh, he yeah, can put what he want that car don't take that money anyway <laughs> that mine do what? I gotta put like eighty five dollars in my tank man he can put, put it, I, you know, he, he not get what I'm saying I, it might take a lot but small. 
But uh, you go up from Cross the River and back, mm-hmm. you don't need 85 more dollars. That's so what I God damn. It's small. That money don't put no, that yeah, It much. took 110 bucks for me to fill my truck up the mm-hmm. other day. All right, last thing. If you can impress upon others one lesson that you've learned throughout your life, whether it was from someone else or that you learned on your own through hardship, what would you like to impress upon the world? To impress? No, 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 not impress like uh, like people are, will be impressed by you. But, but if you could share one moment of your life that has either progressed you or pushed you down where you had to get up, if there's one moment that you think back to that defined you as a person, what moment would that be? I just say don't judge somebody by just looking at them or just hearing them talk or whatnot. I just say more or less, like just to get to know somebody before yeah. you know you judge them. Read a book by stuff. Yeah, for sure. That for sure, because I get misinterpreted a lot from just somebody just looking at me, uh, stuff like that. Like when, what way? Like they just portray me, because like I'm quiet, don't really talk to people, kind of like to myself, so they'll and give so off like a negative energy to others. I so, got gotcha. you. So I think you're being an asshole. Yeah, That's a good answer. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I say, why would you judge me if you don't know me? You know, get to know me first. Cool, chill, laid back. All right, last one. What's the last? <laughs> what's the last <laughs> ass, major man. thing to you? Uh-huh. What's the last big thing that you've changed your mind about? I would say. Um, It's a hard question. It is. Uh, changed my mind about something that's big. I would say just as a person, like I was talking about earlier, just like relationships with anybody, like listening to understand and to respond. And like that goes a long way within just friends, uh, whatever. Like I feel like that's a big part of life because like as growing up, you know, we just listen just to respond, like to understand. So like now... Like, I listen more and, like, trying to get a better understanding of whatever that's going on before I do anything. And it's helped me a lot, for a fact. I'm listening. So that'll be my, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think about right now. I'll take that. Mr. Melvin Frazier, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. I'm sorry for keeping you this long. You Uh, still need to come back so you can shoot a machine gun, though. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh. I don't know when. Probably next week or this week or sometime. I don't know. You're going to come back before you leave? Yeah, I'll be back before I okay. leave. Okay. Sure. You're going to bring them? Yeah. He's coming down off of that Coke and heroin. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have my $20 bill uh, ready and roll. Man. All right. Well, you bring them back, All and right. uh, okay. and Hector will get you a couple machine guns so you can shoot them. Okay. It'll be fun. All right. You can hopefully post them and with a we got that Glock with two shots music. in podcast. Gotta get that with the switch. Full auto Glock, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. The switch. Yes, so sir. go on our website and okay. pick a gun each, All right. and then let us know when you're coming back, and we'll have you set up. All right, All right? appreciate it. Again, thank you. Pleasure, thank you. Pleasure, I really appreciate it. it was right. Good talking right. to each other. All, All right, guys, bye bye. Easy, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> You had fun? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, oh, nice I appreciate it. I appreciate you. All right, nice meeting you, bro. Yeah, let me know when y'all coming back. All right. And let me know uh, which guns each of you want to shoot. Okay. I'm sure you want to get out of here. Yeah, I got to do one more other thing before.